So here's a quick overview just to see it in action kind of all together. Um, so I already, this is what I have so far. Little pivoting of the foot and his head tilts. <laughs> His legs kind of coming off just a little when he pivots. It might be the way that I um, parented them. So they're kind of sticking together. Um, so you just might run into like little glitches and stuff like that. that you'll have to go in and fix. Um, for instance, so I'm going to have him floating off into the background, into space. So in order to do that, if I want to move all of him at once, I'm going to have to grab... I'm going to delete this. I don't know what that is. I'm going to grab all these layers. I'm going to click the first one and just hold shift and click the last one and grab them all. And then I pressed S on my keyboard so I can get that scaling effect. Um, so if I click just on one of these, they're all highlighted, so it should all work together. Let's add a keyframe and scale him out, maybe for about 10 seconds here. And then when I do that, I have just to make sure everything sticks together. Um, so I'm going to just come here and just scale one of these. Make him smaller, so I'm going to go to the left. Okay. And then let's see how that looks. His little helmet's getting off center, so I'll have to fix that. So if little things get off center and get strange, you might have to make some adjustments. Like his foot is disconnecting there. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why, but you can go back and his little helmet is the circle shape layer. So I'm just gonna like click off of him and then click onto the shape layer. And with the shape layer, I'm gonna go into the position because the position is obviously, the helmet is not staying with him, see that? So I need to make sure I'm going to go a little past the 10 seconds so that helmet stays there. I can just adjust the helmet here. I don't have to use these. And that sometimes I like to just move it with my arrow tool. So I'm just going to hit space bar. And now the helmet stays on his head. And he's kind of floating away. So at this point, I think it'd be kind of cute to have him like wave goodbye or something. I know he has little fist hands, but maybe when he gets about here... I'm going to go into his left forearm, left forearm, which should be connected to his fist if it still is. Okay, I'm going to go into the left forearm and we're going to rotate that because that will have him wave. So let's see if that brings his fist with him. Hopefully it does. Oh, that's his right. Okay, never mind. I will. That's my left forearm. My left and right is confused here. I'm going to go to my right forearm. It's going to control Z to undo that one. Okay. So I'm going to go to my, my right forearm and go to rotation. Yes, that one. And then I will just rotate. We're going to go up. Let me do that one more time. Okay, so that's where <laughs> click rotation. It's going to start about here. And then as he gets here, we're going to rotate that up. 